I walked out of the Great Gatsby, not entirely knowing what to think of it. It was spectacular, but in so many ways flawed. I had never seen anything quite like it before, yet it was so similar to so many other things that you just can't always put words to. I was at a loss of what exactly to say about it. DiCaprio's acting, McGuire's narration, whether it was any good or not, and how much of a complete asshole Tom Buchanan was. And Gatsby's sense of hope, something Caraway talked about the entire movie. The Great Gatsby. It's usually referred to as one of the classic American novels. F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic tale of love, money, and the Roaring Twenties. Brought to life now by Baz Luhrmann, the director of Romeo and Juliet, Moulin Rouge. This isn't the first time that this classic book has been adapted into a movie. The first was only two years after its release in what is now the lost silent film of the same title. There was also adaptations in the 70s and one made for TV back in 2000. But this one is quite likely the biggest adaptation of the movie to date. Right away, just seeing from the trailers, it's already apparent that this wasn't going to be a standard adaptation of the classic American novel. We hear much more modern music, we get a lot more CGI and stunning visuals. This was taking it to an absolutely cinematic level, and in a way, this change of sound and scenery actually really helps the movie. Let's start off with the cast. Leonardo DiCaprio plays the titular character, Jay Gatsby. Tobey Maguire also plays Nick Carringway, the narrator and protagonist of the movie. Now, Nick Carringway is supposed to be the character that you identify with. He fought in the First World War in the same division as Jay Gatsby, but never met him during that time. And he then he went to Yale and is now a bond salesman working in New York. But it's because of his house, which is next door to Gatsby's, that starts this entire tale. I will say, the entire cast was actually very strong. Both DiCaprio and Maguire did fantastic jobs at their roles, and all the other supporting actors and actresses did very good jobs making the characters seem believable in an almost unbelievably surreal world of just over-the-top glamour, parties, and a substance that was very, very illegal. Yes, alcohol, this stuff. They say that Thompson may have made the 20s roar, but this stuff is really what did the job and where all the money came from. One thing you will notice right away both in the trailers and in the movie is the use of very modern music. At first this seems almost out of place, but then when you take a closer look at it, it does so much to enhance the feel of the movie. If we're honest, most people don't really know what the jazz of the 20s and the 30s sound like. So when we play this music that is the sort of music that we identify with parties and just wild times, something that we're familiar with, it makes the parties in the movie feel more believable than something that's period correct. Why? Because that's how we identify things by things that we are familiar with. And in that way, playing Jay-Z, rap, and just other modern things makes it feel so much more believable to us because we feel like we know at least some of the atmosphere that's being portrayed. While the not-so-period-correct application of Jay-Z in many scenes, especially in the earlier scenes of the party, do make us feel more familiar with what is going on, after a while, it starts to be too much. There's just too much more music and you, you just don't feel immersed after a certain point because you just don't hear any of the period correct music and you just start to wonder where it is. You only start to hear more of it and far less of the modern music into the second half of the movie. As for the visual side of the movie, it is absolutely phenomenal. This is Baz Luhrmann at his finest. I mean, we already know that he's into very colorful, very spectacular scenery as in Moulin Rouge and Romeo and Juliet, but this is the Roaring Twenties at its finest. Just the color, the lighting, just the atmosphere it creates for this movie. Yet, despite being so surreal, the way it's made out to be, we almost believe it because we're being told this over-the-top, extremely colorful tale. 
As for the movie itself as a whole, the first third is absolutely spectacular to watch, but it does seem a little convoluted, a little messy, and just not overly together. You just It's a great introduction to the world that these characters inhabit and that you're being shown, but it takes a while to get anywhere. We don't see even Gatsby probably for the first 20 minutes of the movie. But it's not like that's out of place because that's the way it is in a novel. I already mentioned that I like the cast and the job that they did in their acting. And some of the characters, oh boy, like Tom Buchanan, he's a true first class asshole. But that's the way they're supposed to be and they're played to a T. He's the character that you're supposed to hate. Gatsby's the character that you're supposed to be mystified by, and Caringway, you identify with him because you're also being introduced to this just spectacular but bizarre world. As for how well done this was as an adaptation of F. Scott Fitzgerald's classic novel, I'd say it followed it pretty closely and was a fairly accurate portrayal of the original material, but it starts to fall off at the end where we're left a few very key important moments and scenes are left out. Like for example, when Nick finally confronts both Jordan and Tom near the end after Gatsby's death, you just, you're missing out on that when those are very key important moments in the novel where he is confronting them about their behavior, just their morals, and just the way that they are acting towards him, Gatsby, and the rest of the world around them. You also miss the actual funeral of Gatsby, Gatsby's father, Mr. Gats. And these are powerful moments in the novel which seem strangely missing, and even for someone who has never read the novel itself, it just feels like there's something missing about the ending, like we're not getting full closure. I've often thought that movies adapted from a novel where it's told from the first-person nar narration perspective can often be a little weird because it's so hard to work that narration into the story and into the way that the movie's told because you can't always have just a constant voiceover. But they did a very good job with this and I think Tobey Maguire was a great person to do it because you see him as this man who is being introduced to this just strange world and he's not the most graceful person inhabiting it which is really relieving to see because that's the way we feel as an audience. It's just a surreal and bizarre thing to experience, especially when you're being thrown into it so quickly as he was. And his work on voiceover for narration was actually top-notch. I thought he did a very good job narrating and conveyed just the emotional just distress and just range of just feelings that he is going through as a character. And it's portrayed to the audience in a way that we believe and that we identify with. When the trailers first came out for this movie, people thought they were either going to really like it or hate it. I thought I was really going to like this movie because Baz Luhrmann, he's a good director for this sort of colorful, imaginative world. I wasn't a big fan of Moulin Rouge, but I, I really liked Romeo and Juliet, which also starred Leonardo DiCaprio. A lot of people thought that once you got past the spectacular visuals, that it maybe wasn't going to be a faithful recreation or adaptation of the classic novel. But it was done in a very creative and imaginative but still faithful way to the source material. So, after all of this, what did I think of The Great Gatsby? Well, it honestly was a great movie. There were still some very noticeable flaws in the movie, but I really enjoyed it. And to anyone who hasn't read the novel, you won't feel lost in it. It tells it in a very good way, although anyone who has read the novel will maybe notice a few things missing, but aside from that, it is a well done, well acted, and just immersing movie that you feel like you're taking the journey with the characters as you're watching it. I know it sounds a little cheesy, but in the end, I would give The Great Gatsby a 7 out of 10. It wasn't anything spectacular, it's not going to be an instant classic, but it's memorable enough that 
when you think of the great, if you ever read the novel afterwards, you will instantly be reminded of the visuals in the movie, or vice versa. I would certainly recommend that if you're at all a fan of Baz Luhrmann, any kind of period fiction from the Roaring Twenties, Leonardo DiCaprio, or novel adaptation movies, go see The Great Gatsby. It'll be worth it for you. I haven't seen it in 3D, so I don't know whether the, the 3D visuals are worth it or not. But at the very least, go see it in 2D. It'll be well worth your money, and I hope you enjoy it. So, what did you guys think of The Great Gatsby? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you have anything else you want me to review, or you just have any feedback, also, drop a comment. Sorry about the three-week gap before this. I've been busy with university, being sick, and just things in normal everyday life. Other than that, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, see ya!